What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and I said we were going to be done, but you know, sometimes you just get that itch to crack some packs, and I kind of had this thing lying around, so I figured, you know what? Let's just do it. We got another box of Cosmic Eclipse. We're going to actually be opening the entire box. Um, in case you haven't seen our previous episodes, you know, I was kind of hesitant to do more Cosmic Clip openings just because... I don't know, just if there are cards that I need, which at this point there isn't, um, I was just going to pick them up off the secondary market because like it was so reasonably priced, even if I wanted to go max rarity. But uh, we're going to open up this um, quick reminder. We are doing a giveaway for a Elite Trader box of Cosmic Eclipse or Hidden Fate. So if you haven't entered, make sure you go find that video. Um, I'll try to put a card thing or especially at the end of the video or link down below in the description. Uh, make sure you are entered. We will pick the winner on a Wednesday morning, bright and early. All right, 36 packs. So I think we try to find, do a uh, setup, new setup for like our lighting. We did pick up like a light box kind of thing. So you can kind of tell like there's a lot of light coming from this side. Uh, but I couldn't really put it anywhere behind me. So it's off to the a side to the angle. So we'll see how this goes. It was kind of awkward not having the face cam for a while. But uh, I think this, this should work. Hmm, these, all these cards are a little nicked on the corner. And let's see, alright. Back to not in non-hidden fate sets. So that means we don't need to switch those last two cards around. Lily's full force. Um, you know, people have been making the case for Sogaleo Lunala, and uh I just find that very hard to believe. The Lily's full like uh to cause just because the GX is so good, you know, just to have like immunity the next turn. But, uh, ooh, Volcarona. <clears throat> Alright, so we got our first hit right off the bat. Cool card. Don't think it's that strong, though. Forgot my sleeve, so here we go. Going green sleeves this time. I feel like a while back when I, we were streaming, someone was making the case for, oh, use Volcarona. Um, it's super OP, and I feel like I'm the type of person that I, I learn from my opponent's kind of situation, and... Uh, I'm not sure if I've ever faced a Volcarona deck, to be honest. Or at least I don't, there was not a memorable one. One that impressed me. So, I've never really tried it yet. Pyroar, Pikachu, Stuffle, Ponyard, Litleo, Coughing, a Will, and then just a Glalie. So the reason we are doing that giveaway is to celebrate us hitting that big milestone of 800 subscribers. So big shout out to all the subs and everyone that supported the channel. Uh, you know, I'm uh, really happy that we managed to cross that. And uh, yeah, let's let's just keep pushing forward, moving to that 900, and then one day to that thousand. Tag call, very good card. Side up, Trepinch. I feel like the if there's a secret rare that I would like to pull, I think it's um, Tag Call. I guess uh, the Charizard breaks in would be nice too. The only thing about Tag Call, the with the introduction of Sword and Shield, you know, all these spoilers coming out, Tag Call's time, you know, they basically put a clock on his usefulness because there's no more uh, tag teams. You know, it's going to V and then V Max. So, which is kind of disappointing, you know, the tag teams came out, and uh, I guess, you know, they kind of carried that GX thing still, so a lot of cards still apply, but it's going to kind of, I feel like the meta is going to experience a hard reset at some point, or for a while, maybe decks have to go one way or the other, and all the support cards, you know, like the uh, Cherish Ball, for example. I haven't seen something that tutors up a V card or anything like that, but, uh, you know, it's clear that it's a different mechanic entirely so uh, I don't know it's just something I find interesting about you know I kind of have some mixed feelings about the new cards although a lot of them are absolutely insane uh, I feel like the the meta should be very interesting when those cards come out but uh, all right let's get back into this next pack Cosmic Drampa people sneaking one of these into their ADP decks 
I never really did anything for me, so maybe I'm just not seeing the matchup that that card is for. Or I don't play that matchup, so it never really felt that useful. Well, the Lucario Melmetal was uh, very impressive when I was trying to play the Gardevoir deck that they won the Florida tournament. Oops. Alright, let's see. We got Sneasel. Natu. Trap Pinch. Pancham. And then a Slurp Puff. Hmm. Good way into the box. And we have one regular GX, no character rares. So far, hey, that just means we're going to have a loaded uh, <laughs> backside of the box. Thoreau, Tangrowth, Jober, Duskull, Timpole, ooh, Mallow, Lana, Reverse. Actually, it's a pretty sought after card. And then Sogaleo. But uh, yeah, since now that the kind of like they announced the. New set won't be out till February. Hmm. Feel like uh, things might we might have to think of some new content to uh, some other stuff to open. You know, because uh, Cosmic Eclipse. You know, I don't have a huge will to continue to open it. Obviously, we're still gonna be doing Hidden Fates. That thing is just so fun to open. And uh, ooh, Steelix, we got our first character rare, and it is well centered. Nice. And then just a Weavile. Put you in one of these. Okay, one GX1 character rare. You know, one thing we could do, although the turnaround time... I don't think the turnaround time lines up. We would have to start this a while ago. You know, if there's no new set coming out for the next few months, wonder if... Maybe now is the time to start doing some PSA grading. Uh, or if there's something else you would like to see. In the meanwhile, let me know in a comment down below. Although I'm, I like the idea of doing PSA. It's just something that I've been keep putting off just because, you know, all oh, this set came out and then hidden baits happened and that kind of destroyed everything. <laughs> as far as uh, setting aside uh, the resources to do PSA grading. Although, you know, very I absolutely love hidden baits. So, if you have any other ideas, let me know. Slugma, Chincho, Cosmog Pancham, a Drober, Wishy Washy, and then a Lowland Sandslash. This first half of the box, very underwhelming. I feel like all the boxes we had kind of like had 10 hits all together, including character rares. And almost halfway through, no, not almost halfway through, but. Uh, we are a long ways. Melamalonic, great catcher. Oh, very good uncommons in this pack. But Bebe, always just fun to say. Jangmo, oh, beast tight. Kind of disappointing. This didn't see this card at all. This card is pretty good. We'll put this off to the side. But beast tight, I did like the sound of it. Basically, just gets stronger over time. But that's another one. I don't think I've ever seen it used. Ah, oh, let's think about this. I wonder. Let's let's uh, imagine putting that in. Malamar, and we switch in with a build of Dawn Wings and Ultra Necrozma. Is that worth it? I wonder if the Dawn Wings it would power up the GX attack, maybe to hit some very precise numbers potentially. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, that one I always felt did have some potential. All right, so we are trying to move a little faster than normal, just so this video is not super long. 36 packs is a lot to get through. But I uh, can't stress this enough, guys. Thank you all for the support. Uh, you know, reading through all the comments from the giveaway video it was very nice. And it was almost like, not nostalgic, but uh, um, I can't, I'm not sure what the word I'm looking for is, but it was nice just to read through, kind of bring back uh, good memories of when people kind of announced like when they got introduced to the channel and a lot of stuff like you know a lot of the individuals I just remember um, them kind of 
jumping in and first introducing themselves. So it's very fun to read those comments. So thank you all again. All right, let's see what we have here. Dark tricks. Mom Togamaru. Wellmer. Palpitoad. Cricketot. Cosmoem. Ooh, Reshiram. Reshiram, nice. I think this card is absolutely insane, but the I wonder if the ADP matchup is just very awkward because they can do a huge amount of damage, 270, which is exactly 10 short of knocking out ADP in one shot. So this puts a very awkward position. That one last point of damage, what a difference that makes. All right, so we're starting to rally a little bit, I suppose. Fishing Rod, this has become a one of for my Malamar deck, just as a way to bring back some, I guess if you potentially bring back a Malamar if you need it, but probably more more likely a um, just some spell tags. Chaotic Swell, super annoying. Discord's blowing up in case you can't hear it in the background. Jangmo-O, Rowlet, Cosmog, Ooh, Flygon Rainbow. Eh, not the most exciting Rainbow Rare. This card's not bad, but not crazy about it. The Dusty Defense, there's plenty of ways to turn that off. Although Power Plant's obviously not a good one because of the Desert Hurricane. But Stage 2, 3 Energy. If you use the Dojo, it'll quickly be gone. All right, so we did get a hyper rare in a flygon, and this side of the box did uh, redeem itself a good amount. Misty Lorelai, that's another one I feel like did not do as much as I was hoping. All right, Heracross, Araquanid, Golet, Dewbiter, Helioptile, Carvana, Tepig, a Nose Pass, ooh, Oracorio Full Art. Love this card. Ooh, look at that. How the um, just these lines is very interesting with the light. Absolutely love this card. I don't think I can use it in my Malamar list. He's just too much of a target. You know, all of my, the GXs, they need to basically come in and do something super impactful, hopefully end the match. I feel like uh, if I'm playing Ultra Necrozma, that's exactly what he's going to do. Probably just do some 60 damage to everything or do a massive, fo whatever, photon, something. Dawn Wings comes in and basically gives himself invincibility. Gardevoir Sylvia or uh, Espiox, es Espion Deoxys. Yeah, he probably can't do it in one turn, but he would do spread damage to basically drop 20 to 200 damage across all your opponent's Pokemon to hopefully end the match. Pikachu, one of the better character rares. Kyogre, nice. And yeah, once again, pretty well centered. I'm very interested um, to, to figure out how this does. I mean, these, these cards on the secondary market are super cheap, but. Uh, yeah, I wonder how the PSA side will shake up. Just because there's so many of them that are super off-center. Alright, this is the last pack of the first side of the box. And we'll probably try to continue to speed up a little bit. Hakamo'o Rotom, Type Null, Nose Pass, Snow Runt. I think I have to hold the cards a little bit differently just because of the shadow from my hand. Deerling, Teddy Ursa, Groudon, and then Como O. Alright, let me clean up some piles, be right back. Alright, quick recap of the first side of the box before we move on. Two character rares Reshiram, Volcarona, Oracorio Full Art, and then a Flygon Hyper Rare. So. That side did redeem itself, five hits total, including a hyper rare and a full art. Let's see, maybe if I switch to 
Going through the card this way. Bebe. Dust Skull. Oh, forgot to do the pack trick. Actually, maybe this is not too bad, just to kind of go through things a little bit faster. Be sharp. Torkoal. Oh, wait. We do want to do the code card, of course. So if you're struggling to snag any of these code cards, uh, one way to try to get some codes is to actually attend our live streams. We stream Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, 7 p.m. to usually about 10 p.m. And uh, we've been doing basically online code, uh, online pack giveaways throughout the stream. And uh, shout outs to Garfield, who basically makes all that possible. Uh, hooking up with all the packs that we give away so thank you so much garfield for supporting not only uh, myself in the channel but uh the community as well that we've slowly grown as far as the ptcgo packs all right guzma hollow it's a pretty good card clay oops cricketoon cosmog slugma Wilmer, ponyard togudamaru Pile of sand, and then a whale lord. All right, let's see. Curlia, roller skater, kind of a disappointing card in my opinion. Especially when playing a lot of Malamar, it's like, oh, I want energy in the discard. So it sounded perfect, but it's kind of hard to meet the balance where you want them in the discard just because you pull them out. Therefore, you don't need that many because ideally you're not playing energy from your hand. You're just pulling back from the discard. And I felt my experience was that I just didn't have roller skater plus energy that often. Because if you kind of get it halfway through the match, there's a good chance all your energy are already gone. They're already in the discard. Swirlix, Krigatot, Woobat, Ducklet, Helioptile, Ponyta is our reverse, and then Zatu with Life Drain. Still feel like there's a lot of potential with that card. And especially when we get these ginormous V Max Pokemon. You know, 330 HP. Hey, how about you just use a Zatu and do 320 damage to it? Sounds pretty efficient. Non GX. Delmize. Island Challenge Amulet. Santru. Ponyta. Cosmog. Psyduck. A Drillbur. And then Drampa again. Oh, I feel this opening is super swingy. You know, all the uh, all the hits are kind of grouped up. Hopefully, we hit the next group soon. I was hoping for another five hits. All right, fossil, Hakamo, Herdier, Tepig, Santru, Snowrunt, Cuffing, a Drillbur, Dusclops, and then Armaldo. Uh, let's get a Blastoise Piplup. There's one that, you know, wrecked my brain of how to make it work. Just didn't come up with anything. And I think one time I was facing it, and I was playing Reshiram. And, you know, the card was just too vulnerable to Reshiram that just can... Great Catcher, 270 damage. It almost felt like a liability versus, you know, other cards like... Caldeo that you can use. So it was the ADP deck, and Caldeo just felt like so much better, just because uh, you know I just switch it to the active and then one shot it. Where I could do it to ADP, but there was just a another target that was just one shotable. All right, running low on packs and. Uh, yeah, I feel like definitely this was not a great box so far. Hopefully there is some good hits left over. Onyx. Ooh, Weavile. 
I do like Weavile's pose. And another well-centered one as well. So that is our third character rare. I feel like you usually get like three or four. But yeah, if there's any Poketubers out, out there watching this video, uh, what are your plans from now until February? I I did see an article on Poke Beach that the kind of like the English equivalent of Tag All Stars will drop. I think they said like a $40 price. It was unclear to me if it's a full set or just like a box, kind of like a maybe a thing to wrap up Sun and Moon. But beyond that, yeah. I wonder what people are going to be opening. So if you're a fellow tuber, let me know. Alright. Let's get... <laughs> let's start getting some Ultra Rare Torkoal. Still never pulled a Torkoal character. I had to uh, buy it on the secondary market. Nut 2. Palpitoad. Jangmo'o. Deerling. Cradilly is our reverse. Ah, uh, another Flygon. Not bad, but not good. Not Or not great, let's put it like that. I feel like Flygon and Volcarona, I feel like I put them in this very similar kind of like ranking where, you know, they definitely have, they can definitely do stuff, but it's just, I feel like it's just not enough. Or at least not enough to be like the sole source of damage. Chaotic Swell, Tropius, Togemaru, Sandy Gas, Sphiel, Cottony, Rowlet, Phantom, Empoleon, ooh, shout out to EMC, he rocked my Charizard Tag Team deck with some Empoleon, pretty cool stuff. First I was like, ah, oh, Piplup, we got this, <laughs> and all of a sudden, one of my, my one of my Charizard tag teams got one shot. <laughs> I was like, oh, whoa. <laughs> what just happened? I wasn't really paying attention. Like, oh, all right, I guess um something happened, and my opponent took three prizes. All right, let's see, Sveal, Meowth, ooh, Torkoal, yes, we finally pulled our first Torkoal, and once again, this one looks pretty well centered. So I'm actually put this in a different sleeve because this is might be one that I don't have one that's kind of like primed for PSA. Let's just take a look. Eh, actually, no, the back. I feel like this blue bar is a little bit thicker than that one, so maybe not actually. False alarm. Grab the regular sleeve. But uh, really happy to have pulled a Torkoal. Ah, it feels so much better when you pull it yourself. And that is our fourth character rare. So that's probably it on that. Hoping for... Come on, like two more. Ultra rares are better, though. Gloom. Floet. Piplup. Brawler, Carvana, Ursa Ring is our reverse, and then just a Muck. Four packs remaining. Alright, Mimikyu. Ah, Lily's Poke Doll, I like that card. Simeon, Jangmo'o, Rowlet, ah, full force, and then a Wishy Washy. Two packs remaining. Oh, three packs, excuse me. Alright, let's get something good. Psychic energy. Ah, the evolution buffers. I really like that idea. As you rule, I didn't. I did face some with like, where it was very impressive how quickly they got assembled and put me in a position where like, wow, there's no way I can come back. 
Alolan Persian, the super ugly cat. You know, I feel like Meow gets love in that there is a Alolan Meow, there's like a Galarian Meow kind of thing. But man, are they ugly. <laughs> They're always featured, but uh, it's like, ooh. All right, two packs remaining. Ooh, what happened here? I think it's okay. Come on, let's get one more hit out of these two packs. Ooh, Caitlyn, Cynthia, nice. Great catcher, nice. Probable pass, that's so nice. A bear. Crab. McCargo. Alright, guys, last pack of this opening with a Blastoise Piplup pack art. I like it. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, thank you again for helping us get to that 800 sub mark. And whether you just watch the videos, if you hit the thumbs up button, all of those contribute to basically getting us in front of new viewers. So thank you so much. All right, let's do this. Golet, Dupider, Apom, Onyx, Tepig. Our reverse is Dragonium Z. And once again, thanks for watching, guys. I'm Wanda Turtle. Ooh, okay. Shadow Box Mimikyu, very nice. Catch you guys next time. Peace.